Amadeo Modigliani, 1884 to 1920. He only lived to be 35 years old. Modigliani was a sickly child. He suffered from pleurisy, caught TB, and had typhoid fever as a child. But by 1906, he moved to Paris and to the Bateau Lavoie, which was a studio building for many of the artists that were basically penniless. He met there Picasso, Severini, Juan Gris, numerous others, and he discovered drugs and alcohol within the first year. In 1909, he studied sculpture with Brancusi, and by 1914 abandoned sculpture in favor of painting. As I said, by 1914, his drug and alcohol use worsened, primarily to cover up his TB, his use of absinthe and hashish were rather extreme. He befriended Utrillo and Soutine and continued to try to paint. By 1916 to 1919 really is the period of his best paintings of the nudes. And he befriended an art dealer, Leopold Zabrowski, who helped him out quite a bit financially. Gave him a one-man show in 1917, sold a few paintings, but it was closed by the police because he had one of his nudes in the window and it revealed some pubic hair. The police shut down the gallery until they removed the painting, which they did, and the show continued. His most famous sale is called New Couch, C-O-U-C-H-E. It sold for $170 million in 2015 at Christie's. By 1918, he left Paris, went to Nice, where he met Renoir, Picasso, de Quirico, and André Durand. Basically, he painted had numerous relationships, apparently had four children, but he never survived his adulthood use of drugs and alcohol. Interesting painter, I've always enjoyed him, but unfortunately he died at an early age. This has been another Naked Artist Exposure video, and I welcome any comments or thoughts you have. And please like and subscribe this as we could love making these and we want to continue to make more of them. I'm Preston McCall and I thank you for watching.